This is some BS. You know, statement from President Joe Biden on American citizens impacting in Israel. As we continue to account for the horrors of the appalling terrorists I saw against Israel this weekend and the hundreds of innocent civilians who were murdered, we are seeing the in imminence uh, scale and reach other tragedy. Sadly, we now know that at least 11 American citizens were among these killed. Many of them were made second home to Israel, in Israel. It's heart rich and, and, it's, and these families have been torn apart by in, inexcusable hatred and violence. We also know that American citizens shall remain unaccounted for. And we are um, working with Israel officials to obtain more information. As to their whereabouts, my heart goes out to every family uh, impacted by the horrible events uh, of the past few days. The pain of these families have endured the immorals of their loss and agony and still is awaiting. The info information is off of my boot. And um, I'm going to stop right there. Um, you know, yes, it's a tragedy for uh, what's going over there in Israel for us, um, what Hamas did. But here's the thing, though, man. I think it's a distraction. And I don't think that, that the uh, United States will force the White House is for Israel. You know why? Because they put it on the front. I believe that they are putting it on the front. But you got some some of us Christians are standing for Israel. You know, some of us are doing what we can to help Israel, the Israelis out and everything, right? But I don't think that, you know, United States is uh, for real at all. You know, they just try to tell you that to throw you off, understand? And and this is um, the comments um, if we are getting involved with what's going on in Israel, every everybody here at home better start watching all the around your cells. Yep, guaranteed there are sleeper cells that have snuck across our border. Just waiting for the word from the overseas. Can't feel it in the air. Something big is about to, about to happen. The rapture of the church, understand? And our lives will be change directly, understand? And so, and it says, all I hear is distraction in my spirit. Now, all I'm gonna say is, um, you know, when Lewis go talking about, you know, this man right here, understand? A Grand Supreme News gonna talk about some, uh, we shouldn't look for the rapture and all that. Um, <clears throat> I'm, hey, this goes out to Lewis. I don't care, man. Hey, listen, I'm gonna see, the, my Bible tells me, you know, to continue to look for the blessed hope on Isaiah Titus 2.13. So I don't know what Lewis talking about, understand? And yes, we should preach the gospel, tell them that, that they need to repent and get our life over to Jesus Christ. But at the same time, we're going to continue to look for Christ coming because it's coming very soon. And then when, um, you know, when, because when the United States is going to, um, you know, already done talk about some two-state solution by dividing the guy's land, Israel, it's going to be, it's going to be hell or earth. I mean, it's going to be problems because God's going to rapture his church and God's going to deal with the, the enemies that, that try to divide God's land. And it's all in scripture. So, um, they may tell you that, that, uh, they're going to stand for Israel, but come on now, man. I mean, you know, some of us who really understand what the word of God says and, um, you know, they just put it on the front, you know, to throw you off, but, <laughs> Something is going to happen, and the rapture is going to take place, and we're going to be out of here. So that's all I got to say. So uh, he he don't really mean that. But he don't really mean that, understand? So, and, and plus, um, the mass is going to be destroyed. Uh, I mean, it, it, I believe they understand. But Israel, understand, for us, uh, Isaiah 17, 1. So it's all coming together for us, Bible prophecy. So that's all I got to say.